I would like to welcome Yusuf, right? And uh, uh, he's actually the content uh, and the speaker of this meetup. So I'm really like looking forward to your talk, right? H how is it going for you, Yusuf? Like how how is uh, how is your evening going? Yeah, it's good, going uh, very well. Thank you for having me in this uh, online event about uh, JAX and tracks and other machine learning topics. I'm super cool. excited about it. Yeah. So with that, uh, I'm just adding your stream, right? And now stage is yours. And um, yeah, have fun. And uh, um, please share all those amazing learnings that you're having. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so let me introduce uh, myself uh, just briefly. Uh, my name is Yusuf. Uh, I'm uh, living in Turkey and uh, I'm a Google developer expert on machine learning. Uh, my main focus, uh, my main interest in is uh, in NLP and speech uh, processing. Um, I'm a user of TensorFlow for a long time, but uh, most recently uh, I also started to use JAX uh, and uh, Trax, and I will uh, talk about uh, these new uh, libraries uh, today. Uh, hope you'll also enjoy it. Uh, I believe that it will uh, accelerate your uh, machine learning research and uh, production development uh, to a great extent, especially if you are working in uh, NLP and uh, speech uh, processing uh, the domains. Uh, our uh, my talk uh, will be uh, uh, the, 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 we have actually uh, three subsections. First, I will talk about uh, JAX, uh, which is the uh, giant library uh, with uh, several other uh, machine learning uh, libraries uh, built on top of uh, uh, this library. Uh, then I will talk about uh, tracks. Uh, which is one of the uh, many other uh, machine learning uh, libraries uh, that uh, rely on uh, JAX's uh, acceleration uh, and uh, clean code, uh, fast uh, execution uh, paradigm. Uh, and finally, I will uh, briefly talk about uh, uh, some German uh, TTS uh, models I, I personally trained and published online. Uh, in case uh, you might uh, you may, you might find it uh, interesting and uh, want to uh, use them uh, in your uh, projects. So first. Uh, JAX uh, d d d might be described as simply the d drop in replacement for uh, NumPy, but uh, many other uh, great features that can uh, boost your productivity um, when making uh, research or uh, pr product development in uh, machine learning. Uh, is uh, is accelerated uh, on hardware uh, with uh, XLA, uh, and it supports uh, CPU, GPU, uh, and uh, TPU acceleration out of the uh, box. Uh, all JAX uh, calls are automatically uh, differentiable. Uh, it can differentiate. Uh, it can calculate derivatives of derivatives of derivatives uh, and uh, more. And it uh, be, brings all these uh, together to uh, give you a, a great working environment with, without uh, worrying 
uh, about the acceleration and uh, differentiation uh, jobs of the things. Instead, uh, you can focus uh, simply on the uh, innovation uh, you are about to make. Uh, one of the uh, best features I uh, love with uh, Jax is uh, tracing functions with uh, make Jax PR function. Uh, we can simply uh, define our function and then uh, make uh, another uh, function uh, from that function. And when we uh, call this tracing function, we uh, get a, a beautifully uh, styled uh, description on uh, description of uh, what's going on uh, in that function uh, and uh, what it uh, computes actually uh, we we will have uh, like a pseudocode actually uh, a, a pseudocode describing the uh, underlying uh, computation uh, run in that uh, particular function uh, and it really helps uh, understanding uh, complicated uh, calculations in uh, machine learning and uh, what, what's going on under the hood. Uh, and differentiating uh, functions. Uh, as you know, uh, with TensorFlow, we need to create a, a gradient type if you want if you want to uh, follow if you want to keep track of uh, gradients of our calculations uh, and uh, it's almost the same uh, with PyTorch uh, with uh, graph but uh, with uh, Jax you we don't need to create uh, any uh, any gradient type or graph, we simply call the, uh, we simply uh, import the grad function from uh, JAX and uh, make a, a function just to uh, calculate the uh, gradient of uh, any given function. Actually, uh, this is uh, function transformation. Uh, we simply transform our function to um, calculate the gradient of that function. Similarly, uh, it supports just just in time uh, compilation for uh, accelerating the computations on hardware. Uh, and uh, all we need, all we need, need to do is just uh, import uh, JIT function from the JAX uh, library and uh, transform our uh, function uh, with uh, calling JIT on it. And then we can use this uh, JIT function. Uh, to accelerate our uh, computation on uh, hardware. If we set up a TPU uh, in the uh, first place, in the beginning of our uh, application, then it will uh, accelerate on TPU. If we uh, connect it uh, to a GPU, then uh, it will it will be accelerated on GPU. It will be handled automatically by uh, JAX uh, under the hood. Uh, and another uh, great feature I love uh, with JAX is 
uh, simple vectorization of uh, any uh, given function. Uh, as you know, we process the data in uh, batches when uh, developing machine learning uh, algorithms uh, to better make use of the hardware uh, performance. Uh, both uh, this is uh, uh, valid both for GPUs and also for uh, TPUs uh, as well. Uh, but uh, it sometimes may make the uh, make uh, things uh, a little bit complicated uh, because we we have an extra dimension uh, to express the uh, batch uh, batch size, uh, but we need to uh, operate our calculations on other non-batch uh, dimensions. Uh, it's some it's uh, it may sometimes be uh, tricky. Uh, but with JAX, you can simply write a function uh, by sim simply ignoring the batch dimension. Uh, then uh, you can um, call VMAP function uh, on this and get a uh, vectorized version of that particular uh, function. Uh, after you vectorize uh, your function, then uh, you can call it uh, with a, a batched uh, data instead of uh, a single example uh, from your uh, data set. Uh, but you'll also enjoy the um, ease of uh, writing for uh, single uh, samples. Similarly, you can also uh, parallelize uh, your calculations. Um, it's almost the same as uh, vectorizing uh, functions, but uh, but uh, this time, uh, uh, PMAP uh, instead of uh, VMAP, we we uh, we're uh, going to use uh, PMAP, and uh, its job actually uh, distribute the calculations uh, across all the known devices uh, you set up uh, for uh, JAX. Uh, for example, uh, if you uh, if you are connected to a TPU with uh, eight cores, uh, p when you uh, transform your function with PMAP, uh, this transform function will distribute uh, your batches across uh, all the eight uh, cores of your TPU. Uh, and this is uh, relevant for uh, both VMAP and uh, PMAP as well. Uh, when transforming our functions, we have uh, an extra uh, argument uh, called in uh, access, and uh, you can specify uh, with this argument uh, uh, which arguments are actually uh, uh, actually meant to be uh, batched when uh, vectorizing or uh, parallelizing. For example, uh, you may have uh, a batched data, but uh, uh, you can also pass uh, additional uh, arguments, uh, some uh, scalar values also, uh, you may pass weights and bases uh, to that particular function and 
they they don't need to be uh, batched uh, actually. So uh, in Axis argument uh, is of the type tuple and uh, it references the transformed uh, it references uh, to the arguments of transformed uh, functions uh, in uh, in the specified order in this case our first argument uh, will be batched uh, for the first dimension which is uh, indexed with zero but other uh, the second and uh, third arguments uh, will, not, will not be batched uh, as we specify uh, for them uh, the value of none. Uh, these goodies actually uh, simply uh explains why jax uh, is becoming uh so popular uh, basically we don't have any uh, gradients uh, gradient tapes we don't have any uh, uh bothering with uh, batch dimensions Uh, we can simply JIT our uh, calculations for uh, accelerated uh, hardware execution uh, and we can par uh, parallelize uh, our calculation across uh, all the uh, cores of our uh, accelerator, accelerator. So this is uh, really uh, helpful when you are uh, making research and speech processing is uh, one of the uh, domains uh, imp uh, improving uh, and expanding uh, ra rapidly uh, in the recent uh, times. Uh, with the uh, innovations uh, on the domain of in the domain of uh, uh, NLP uh, speech processing uh, is also uh, get benefit uh, from these innovations uh, so to uh, to keep uh, pace with uh, these innovations you uh, you need a, a library uh, that can uh, that won't uh, distract you from the actual uh, job of uh, breaking uh, finding new algorithms uh, in, you should focus on the algorithms instead of uh, like uh, simply uh, running them uh, faster uh, and JAX as JAX is a drop-in re replacement uh, for NumPy uh, we have uh, all the uh, uh, all the quite useful functions from uh, NumPy uh, when dealing with uh, sound signals uh, like uh, fast Fourier transform, uh, uh, we have uh, Hamming uh, functions and other uh, window functions uh, as well. These are just uh, a few examples, but uh, actually uh, we have all the uh, these. Uh, Fourier transform and uh, window uh, functions, and we can easily implement uh, different uh, feature extraction uh, methods uh, with accelerated uh, JAX API. Uh, 
as Jax is uh, so useful, they are, uh, they are immediately uh, many machine learning libraries uh, built on top of that. I found uh, six of them actually, and I believe that there are lots of others uh, that I uh, couldn't notice uh, to date. Uh, there are six of them, but uh, three of them uh, are uh, worth notice, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Flex uh, is one of the uh, earliest libraries uh, developed on top of uh, JAX. Uh, Haiku uh, is one of uh, is the library developed by DeepMind, but uh, actually I couldn't find it uh, that useful. Uh, it's more like uh, developed for the particular use case of uh, DeepMind. LEG might be uh, interesting because uh, they have a clear goal of uh, making the API uh, as uh, uh, close to uh, Keras API as uh, much as possible. And uh, Trax actually uh, is my favorite. Uh, it's a, uh, it has a, a clear goal of uh, clean code and uh, high speed uh, coding, uh, and it really uh, emphasized NLP uh, research. Uh, we will see this in more details. Uh, it is developed by uh, the team uh, Google Brain, uh, which is the uh, team behind uh, many innovations, uh, many recent innovations uh, in the field of natural language processing. Uh, and uh, it's actively used uh, in this uh, team. So uh, it has a uh, real world uh, use case uh, for one of the uh, biggest uh, research teams uh, in the field of uh, machine learning. You can just find it in uh, github.com uh, google slash tracks. Uh, with tracks, uh, we can uh, we have access to TensorFlow datasets API uh, under the uh, namespace of tracks dot data dot tfds, and uh, this means that uh, we have access to uh, many many uh, datasets. Uh, that can be uh, freely uh, downloaded and prepared uh, for uh, our uh, research. Uh, for NLP researchers, uh, it has a built-in uh, tokenized, detokenized, and uh, autoregressive sample uh, functions. Uh, they are really helpful when uh, de developing NLP uh, models. Instead of uh, trying to bring many uh, other third-party libraries together and uh, uh, struggling uh, just to work, uh, just to make them uh, work together happily, in, uh, you can simply uh, focus on uh, your research idea. 
and uh, it has uh, many state-of-the-art uh, model implementations in uh, Trax models. Uh, it has uh, confi configurable uh, transformer uh, architectures, both uh, as a um, layer, uh, as a block or uh, full models as well. Uh, it has a complete uh, BERT implementation. Um, it has it has a full uh, working reformer uh, implementations uh, and many other uh, transformer based models. Uh, you can find them uh, under the uh, namespace of tracks that models, and uh, you can even uh, have a look at uh, tracks that models that uh, research. Uh, and under this uh, namespace, you can find uh, many other uh, recent, uh, many other implementations of recent uh, NLP models. Uh, and it has a uh, stable yet uh, really simple uh, data feeding API. Uh, basically, you uh, you need to deal with uh, simply with uh, Python generators uh, instead of custom made uh, APIs just to feed some. Uh, the, the numerical some uh, metrics and some vectors into your model. Uh, you can simply deal with uh, Python generators. You uh, simply write uh, functions for any transformation you want to make uh, to your data. And this uh, function should accept uh, should accept a Python generator uh, as an argument, and uh, you can um, perform the, the perform any transformation uh, you want uh, inside this uh, function, and uh, you need to uh, again yield uh, from the, that generator. Uh, and uh, Trax uses com uh, the concept of combinators. Basically, uh, there are several uh, combinators uh, called uh, serial, which is basically performs the transformations uh, sequentially. And also, uh, there is the pa parallel uh, combinator, uh, which uh, calculates the transformations uh, in parallel. Um, to demonstrate the easy uh, use of uh, this data feeding API, uh, I try to uh, write some uh, sample notebooks uh, and publish them on uh, GitHub. Uh, and you can find in find uh, it at this URL github.com slash multi slash uh, tracks samples. Uh, and uh, German TTS models, my uh, recent uh, work as open source. Um, the problem with NLP and uh, speech processing is that uh, it's, uh, it's co uh, constrained by the language uh, in the computer vision, 
part of things. Uh, you can simply uh, train a, a computer vision model and uh, it's expected to work uh, with a, a similar performance in uh, almost any part of the uh, world. But this is not the uh, case uh, with NLP and uh, speech uh, processing. You need to uh, train uh, new models uh, almost for any new uh, language. And unfortunately, uh, NLP and speech research is heavily uh, uh, is heavily uh, dominated by uh, English, and there are uh, only few uh, examples and resources uh, for non-English uh, languages. Uh, but uh, this is simply not good because. Uh, to make a fair research and to uh, to be able to compare uh, our algorithms uh, in a, a fair environment, uh, we need to test uh, them in uh, other languages because uh, English is not the uh, best representative of uh, all uh, human uh, languages. There are uh, lots of uh, languages with uh, different uh, orthography, different uh, phonology, different uh, syntactical and uh, semantic uh, uh, rules and uh, use cases. So I started to train uh, NLP and speech uh, models in uh, non-English uh, languages and German uh, was the first uh, one of uh, the models. I trained uh, Takotron uh, 2 which is uh, one of the uh, state-of-the-art uh, TTS models. Basically it uh, converts uh, a given uh, text in German to a uh, feature uh, in the math scale uh, and we call it uh, as a text to mal model uh, to actually uh, synthesize uh, the real uh, sound waves uh, we need another model and uh, it's called a uh, multiband uh, Malgan, uh, which uh, uses the uh, generative adversarial network architecture uh, to uh, to learn how to uh, generate uh, sound signals from uh from the mal input uh, so we need to use these two models uh, together to generate uh, speech uh, in german with uh, neural text to speech uh takatron 2 is uh, relatively a big uh, model and uh, it's a, an autoregressive uh, model, so it might be uh, quite slow for uh, production uh, use cases, uh, especially if you want to uh, make real-time speech uh, generation. Uh, Tegretron 2 might be uh, quite slower for your uh, particular use case. Uh, so there are other uh, alternatives uh, to uh, solve these problems and fast speech 2 is one of uh, such models uh, which is actually uh, trained with a, 
uh, aligner model uh, like Takodron to so to be able to uh, train a fast pitch uh, two model uh, you um, need a model like Takodron two. So uh, after training Takotron 2 and multiband Melgan, uh, I now uh, started to uh, train fast speech 2 and I will release it uh, soon as well. Uh, and also HiFi GAN, uh, which is another uh, model that can replace multiband Melgan with a uh, relatively higher uh, quality uh, actually uh, i will release it soon as well currently takotron 2 and multiband megan can be found uh, on in this uh, github repo uh, github.com uh, uh, slash monetis slash german tts and uh, i also published them on uh, tf hub uh you can uh, go to tfhub.dev slash monotif and find uh, these models you can uh, you uh, it uh, it offers both saved model and also tf light uh, versions of the models and it also provides the uh, sample uh, code to demonstrate how to use uh, these pre-trained models. The, these models uh, are trained on uh, Thorsten dataset, uh, which is uh, donated to the community by uh, Thorsten Müller. Uh, and it's really helpful because uh, TTS data sets uh, are really uh, difficult to obtain because uh, they need to be uh, recorded in a good uh, studio like environments for the best uh, quality uh, without uh, other uh, noise and other uh, distracting uh, noisy environments. So uh, after this presentation, uh, you, if you want to uh, reach out to me, you can always uh, write to me at uh, at this email address. Uh, I will uh, try to respond as soon as uh, possible. Uh, thank you for having me and uh, attending this uh, online uh, event. Uh, now, if you have questions, uh, I can have them and try to uh, answer them. Yeah, thank you for your talk. It was an interesting uh, combination of different aspects, right, of uh, building your machine learning models. So there were like a couple of questions. So while well, people are still like writing um, new ones, right, I will just like come back and uh, ask the old ones if you if it's okay with you. Um, so the first question is uh, coming from Harris, and uh, he's asking um, most of advantages of Jack seems to be available in PyTorch as well. Are there any use cases where Jax would be better than PyTorch? And I guess you can replace uh, PyTorch with, I don't know, like Keras uh, 2.0, right? Or TensorFlow 2.0? Yeah. Uh, in uh, actually, uh, I tried to uh, uh, talk about this uh, throughout my talk. Uh, Jax uh, has a clear uh, goal of uh, clean and uh, clean code and uh, speed. Uh, with TensorFlow uh, and PyTorch, uh, there are some uh, limitations that, that are coming from the uh, backward compatibility uh, issues. Uh, Jax instead uh, uses uh, 
uh, newer uh, approaches of uh, several uh, the, the algorithmic problems. Uh, one of uh, these is uh, ma stateless uh, random number generators uh, with TensorFlow and uh, PyTorch as well. We usually uh, use uh, stateful generators and uh, these are pro uh, problematic uh, when you uh, switch to TPU uh, because TPU is uh, not so good at uh, stateful calculations. Uh, you need to make all the calculations uh, stateless and uh, JAX uh, has uh, a stateless uh, random number generation out of the box. So, uh, your code uh, just runs on CPU, GPU, and TPU without any uh, particular change in your uh, code. Uh, you just uh, write your code once and uh, it uh, runs uh, on all the uh, hardware uh, you can uh, obtain. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and I guess also it it has uh, like uh, simple uh, function transformations like uh, jitting, uh, v mapping, uh, p mapping for vectorization and uh, parallelization. Th these are really helpful uh, when you are um, writing uh, writing new algorithms. Uh, for uh, state-of-the-art machine learning research. Yeah, definitely. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, all of this research with uh, MLAR, right, and uh, XLAs, right, to make it faster, they're like way more flexible within uh, JAX, right, and in PyTorch yeah. and elsewhere, right? Okay, so uh, I guess I have one more question. Um, and this is basically coming more from my side, right? Uh, I had a feeling that even with TensorFlow, at least like before like 2.x, um, there've been like a, quite a few moments, right? When you'd be like, oh no, like API again changing, right? And we're going from estimators to like Keras, right? From from Keras or to elsewhere, right? And Jux feels like even more, um, even newer, right? So it's like even like less, hey, like it's like set in stone, right? So how do you feel? How is um, how stable is the API, right? And how frequently do you see that something that worked on early version of Jux, right, it doesn't work anymore, right? Or like how stable basically is the API, and uh, how can you relate on Jux currently? Yeah, uh, actually, a very good question, uh, David. Uh, TensorFlow uh, has a rapidly changing API, and uh, it's uh, sometimes. Uh, might be really tricky, uh, even if your code uh, might be broken uh, between uh, minor version uh, updates. Uh, JAX is a newer library, but uh, basically it's uh, rely on uh, several other uh, stable libraries, such as uh, NumPy, SciPy, uh, XLA and uh, Autograd. Uh, so uh, it's basically uh, brought together uh, to uh, provide uh, researchers and engineers uh, an end to end uh, tool uh, to uh, make a faster uh, development. Uh, so it's not. Uh, uh, invented from scratch, uh, mm -hmm. but instead it's, uh, it's composed of several other uh, stable uh, libraries. And this is really helpful uh, for, uh, as machine learning engineers and researchers, uh, I believe that we are all uh, uh, we are all uh, used to uh, NumPy API. Uh, and when you uh, go to uh, JAX, you can simply import uh, import 
jax.numpy as jmp, uh, which is the uh, traditional way of importing uh, accelerated numpy in jax. And you are good to go uh, with this uh, accelerated uh, numpy implementation. You can simply uh, call any uh, numpy uh, func function uh, with this uh, uh, under the uh, namespace of this JMP. Uh, and this is also uh, valid for uh, SciPy, uh, which is uh, a little bit uh, miss, uh, which has uh, some missing uh, functions uh, when compared to uh, NumPy. But uh, it's still uh, quite uh, usable. Uh, in this uh, at this stage, uh, and plus uh, you have all other uh, use cases, and uh, actually they are uh, really stable uh, even at this stage. Like uh, JIT, uh, PMAP, and VMAP, these are all uh, stable functions for now. Mm -hmm. Totally makes sense. Thank you for explaining that. And maybe like very last question, um, because I'm not sure, most likely you're aware, right? But TensorFlow 2.4, right? They also release uh, experimental.numpy. Um, that should be kind yeah. of like having some subset of like NumPy already implemented. I'm not sure how is it like uh, with uh, VMAP and other things, right? So how do you feel? Um, what is uh, like a good use case for TF uh, experimental numpy versus like Jux, right? Or you know, like how do you at least like mentally kind of uh, um, make distinction between those two? Yeah, uh, uh, this is called uh, TensorFlow numpy actually, mm -hmm. uh, and it it has the uh, implementation of numpy API, but uh, TensorFlow is a really big uh, eco ecosystem, uh, in fact, and it's uh, used in uh, many strategic uh, applications in uh, production. So uh, it's, uh, it has really uh, some uh, backward compatibility uh, issues. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can change some uh, APIs uh, on the surface level, but you cannot uh, change uh, some uh, systematic uh, implementation details uh, under the hood. And uh, this poses some uh, limitations uh, mm -hmm. on the uh, t TensorFlow side. Uh, for example, uh, with uh, tracks, you can choose to uh, use the uh, back, use uh, TensorFlow NumPy or uh, JAX as the uh, backend uh, for uh, oh, nice. computation, uh, for the heavy lifting of uh, computation. Uh, JAX uh, re uh, gives a better performance uh, for my uh, the comparison uh, work, but uh, Trax also supports uh, exporting uh, models to uh, Trax Keras format uh, for uh, productionize your uh, trained model, uh, and you can even uh, export TF Lite uh, version from uh, that uh, model convert converted from Trax to uh, Keras. Uh, but to be able to uh, use this feature, uh, you need to uh, first uh, run your model uh, with the TensorFlow NumPy backend at least uh, a, a, a batch. Mm -hmm. So uh, my usual uh, workflow is uh, like this. I first train my model with the JAX backend. Uh, I uh, checkpoint my model, then I uh, reload uh, that model from the uh, checkpoint file and uh, run a, 
uh, batch with uh, TensorFlow NumPy and then export to Keras format for further uh, use in production. Yes, it's a very interesting trick, right? Because you're kind of connecting like the best out of two worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I, I think it uh, this uh, limitation uh, will be removed uh, in the near future soon. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much for amazing talk, right? And also giving like all of your uh, answers as well. It was a pleasure having you. So um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me and this opportunity to talk to uh, this great audience. So yeah. uh, have a nice evening. Have a nice evening.